Hello, my fellow makeup lovers. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit of foundation. I'm going to show you our Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. I use the Lore as my shade, and I'm also going to show you the um, Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation, which many people on social media and YouTube are calling liquid gold. And again, I use the Velour for my shade. So I first applied my Unique Divine Daily Moisturizer. It's a nice um, lightweight moisturizer that I think is great for all skin types. And um, then I go and put on my concealer. And what I love about this concealer is that it covers everything. You can build it up, put on a little bit or a lot, and then once you set it, it stays, doesn't budge. So because a little bit goes a long way, I just put um, a tiny, tiny amount on the back of my hand. I yet like to use my fingers for applying concealer because I think um, it blends best. You can really get in there into the spaces you need, and I just think that the fingers is the best tool for it. So I just use like the tiniest amount on the back of my hand, and then I apply, I can see I have acne some like acne on my chin, some rosacea in the cheeks area, and, and like a little bit of undry circles. So I just um, tap a little bit onto my chin, tap it in a triangle shape under my eyes, like that. And to cover the rosacea within the cheek area, I'm just gonna let the, wait, let the foundation do that because it does a fine job at that. And I'll put just a little line here to kind of highlight the bridge of my nose and cover up some of that redness. I don't really have any actual red spots but if you did you could take a, a fine brush and just like dot it onto any acne you may have and blend in with your ring finger. And I'm just today going to do the little red bumps I have on my chin around my nose and pat don't pull your skin at all, just pat, pat, pat in like a little triangle. Under your eyes. Then for the foundation, there's a um, powder puff brush on Unique that everybody's using and it creates the perfect um, airbrushed look. I don't have that brush, but a few ways that you can use it is for a very, very light coverage. You can put a few dots on your forehead, like maybe five, and blend it with your fingertips. Also for a light, very natural skin finish, and this is going to give you more of a sheer finish. Um, you can use a blending bud or beauty blender. We have our um, we have our blending buds on Unique as well. That comes in two different sizes that are really great, but I just have this generic one for now. And... Um, the great thing about this is it's just a really nice, lightweight, um, kind of watery serum texture, but it covers very well and it dries to a powder finish. So it's not going to feel heavy, it's not going to feel like it's clogging your pores, but it's really going to give you the coverage and the finish, that kind of matte, satiny matte finish that you that um, that a lot of people really like. I like to use this especially for the evening and it doesn't have any SPF for evening, which is really good because um, if you want SPF for the day, you can put it underneath your foundation, but if you use a foundation with SPF in it and you're going to be taking a lot of photos at night, going out, it's going to create that kind of white cast on your face, which you don't want. So um, this is really great for taking photos and going out and special events as well as during the day. So what I do is I'm using this in place of the powder brush just because I don't have it yet. So you take your little dropper and you drop five, four or five drops, depending on how much coverage you believe you want. And be sure to shake the bottle really well. And then you just kind of dab onto your face. I'm really going to dab on my uh, cheeks because they they're red from rosacea. And I like to start from the inside and work my way out, really blend um, get more of the coverage on the inside and really blend out so I get a very natural, um, smooth um, uh, border between you know where my foundation stops and my natural skin begins so you can't tell that I'm wearing foundation and it looks like, it just looks like natural skin. So da the um, stab on to get your coverage and then go ahead and buff out. Mm, sorry. 
And I was on a weird stand because I'm sitting on a cheese lounge. And it's really that easy. See? It can see all my rosaceas covered. Um, any acne that I had is covered. Um, then you can go in with your bronzer and your blush and if you want to do a little bit of contour and you can or put on your highlighter or whatever else you want to do. But it's really that simple to cover up everything. There's a lot of YouTube videos about people who have like drawn on their face with Sharpie and went and covered it up with this foundation. We also have um, BB creams, we have a mineral powder foundation, we have mineral powder concealer, uh, but this is the, these are the two products everybody's really going crazy on and that um, people will shop that you need just for these products. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And um, yeah, thank you very much.